So what's really up with sleep and GLP-1 agonist medications? Are there any links between GLP-1 meds and sleep quality while taking the medications? Let's take a look at some of the published evidence so far. My name is Dr. G and I'm an internal medicine physician in Hollywood, Florida. And I'm also a lifestyle modification coach and a patient educator. Today, we're gonna to talk about something that's been on the minds for a lot of people on my channel here. It's the GLP-1 agonist medications and their potential effects on sleep quality. GLP-1 agonists, such as terzipatide and semaglutide, are commonly used to treat type 2 diabetes and are widely more popular today due to their high effectiveness managing obesity. But recent studies suggest they might also play a role in how well we sleep. Like I said, I've seen many folks in my comment sections of the videos stating that their sleep has changed since going on the meds. Some for the better and some definitely for the worse. And since we know sleep is an integral part of a healthy lifestyle in general, but also a key part of weight management, let's dive into how these medications work and what the science says about their connection to sleep. So let's do a quick review. What are GLP-1 agonist medications? I know, I know, I know. You heard it before and you know this already, but this isn't for you. It's actually for you, <laughs> you right there. GLP-1 agonists are a class of medications that mimic the action of hormones called a glucagon-like peptide 1, GLP-1. And this hormone is naturally released in the gut when we eat, helping to regulate blood sugar levels and control appetite and improve insulin sen sensitivity. GLP-1 agonists slow down the movement of food through the stomach, it's just called gastric emptying, and it help release insulin and reduce the release of glucagon. A glu glucagon is a hormone that raises blood sugar. Some of the more commonly known medications in the GLP-1 class include semaglutide, which is known as Ozempic or Wegovi, terzipatide, which is known as Monjaro or Zepbound, and Laraglutide, which is known as Sixenda or Victoza. Since gaining FDA approval for both diabetes and obesity, these medications are now being widely used to help people with type 2 diabetes control their blood sugar, and many doctors prescribe them now to help with weight loss in people with obesity. So what's the importance of sleep itself? Well, I mean, outside of weight loss and diabetes, the importance of sleep in achieving and maintaining a healthy lifestyle has been studied and studied pretty extensively, I would say. Sleep plays a fundamental part in overall health and well-being, impacting nearly every system in the body, including the brain, the heart, and the immune system. If the goal is achieving and maintaining a healthy lifestyle, sleep is absolutely critical due to several important processes that are completed during or around sleep. You could argue the role of sleep in cognitive function and mental health is the most important aspect. Sleep is essential for cognitive function, memory consolidation, and learning. During sleep, the brain processes information gathered during the day, strengthens your memory, and resolves waste products that accumulate during waking hours. Not to mention a lack of sleep is associated with poor mental health, increasing the risk of conditions such as anxiety, depression, and irritability. Sleep also plays a big role in physical health itself and maintaining a strong immune system. Sleep supports physical health by promoting tissue repair, muscle growth, and overall bodily restoration. During sleep, the body produces cytokines and these proteins that help combat infection, inflammation, and stress. It makes sense that sleep deprivation weakens the immune system, making the body more susceptible to illness in general. Hormonal balance is also maintained partly during sleep. Sleep regulates key hormones like cortisol, the stress hormone, insulin, which helps regulate blood sugar, and leptin and ghrelin, which control hunger and fullness, which we will talk about in, in a second. Hormones definitely require time to replenish and no better time to do that than during sleep when energy isn't being spent on other important things. So what is the role of sleep in weight management itself? Sleep is closely linked to weight management through its impact on metabolism, hunger hormones, and energy levels, and here's how. Sleep exerts indirect hormonal influence on hunger. Sleep regulates the production of leptin and ghrelin. Leptin signals fullness while ghrelin st stimulates hunger, right? So leptin full, ghrelin hungry. When you don't get enough sleep, leptin levels decrease and ghrelin levels rise, leading to increased appetite and cravings, especially for high calorie foods. Studies have shown that sleep deprived individuals are more likely to consume excess calories, contributing to weight gain. 
The weird thing is, studies also show when individuals get way too much sleep, they also tend to lean towards obesity. The thinking is, these folks tend to burn less calories during their wake hours, and not that they actually feel an increased effect of leptin. The optimal number of hours of sleep has been found to be about seven, to five, seven and a half hours, right? Six is too little and eight and a half is a bit too much. Sleep can affect overall metabolism and insulin sensitivity, but inadequate sleep disrupts insulin sensitivity, making it harder for the body to effectively regulate blood sugar. And this can increase the risk of weight gain and even type two diabetes risk goes up with the, the lack of sleep when an increase of insulin, obviously. Sleep deprivation can slow down your metabolism, causing your body to burn fewer calories at rest. Over time, this can make it harder to lose or maintain a healthy weight. Energy levels and physical activity are also connected to sleep. A lack of sleep decreases energy levels and motivation to engage in physical activity. When you're tired, you're less likely to exercise, which can contribute to weight gain or difficulty man maintaining a healthy weight. Regular sleep promotes higher energy levels, supporting an active lifestyle and consistent exercise, both of which are critical for weight management. As you can see, although sleep is an often overlooked aspect of a healthy lifestyle, Getting adequate, high quality sleep is essential for maintaining both mental and physical health. Sleep not only regulates hormones that control hunger and metabolism, but it also boosts energy levels and supports an active lifestyle. Ensuring consistent, restful sleep is key to achieving and maintaining a healthy weight and overall well being. So, what's the actual connection between the GLP 1 agonist medications or the GLP 1 hormone and sleep? You might be wondering how a medication for blood sugar and weight loss could impact sleep. The connection lies in the way GLP-1 affects the brain. GLP-1 receptors are not only found in the pancreas and the gut, but also in the areas of the brain that regulate sleep, stress, and mood. GLP-1 agonists may influence brain activity, including areas involved in circadian rhythms, which regulate the sleep-wake cycle. In one animal study, stimulating GLP-1 receptors improves sleep quality by reducing the amount of time spent awake after falling asleep. This suggests that GLP-1 agonists could potentially help with sleep issues, though more human studies are needed to confirm these effects. The known relationship and desired effect of GLP-1 agonists have on weight loss appears to indirectly impact sleep. One of the primary reasons doctors prescribe GLP-1 agonists is for weight loss, and obesity is clearly linked to sleep disorders like obstructive sleep apnea, which is a condition where breathing repeatedly stops and starts during sleep. Studies show that losing even a small amount of weight can improve sleep apnea and overall sleep quality. In a clinical trial, people who took semaglutide for weight loss reported better sleep. This could be because losing weight reduces pressure on the airways, making it easier to breathe at night. In one study, people with obesity and sleep apnea who lost weight through GLP-1 treatment saw a reduction in the severity of their sleep apnea, which led to better overall sleep quality. This shows potentially that the benefits of these medications on sleep may not be direct, but related to the weight loss they induce. Another possible explanation for how GLP-1 agonists may improve sleep is through their impact on stress in mood. People with type two diabetes and obesity often experience higher levels of stress and anxiety, which can negatively affect their sleep. Reduced stress levels while on GLP-1 agonists may help reduce stress by improving overall metabolic health and reducing inflammation. When people feel healthier and less stressed, they often sleep better. There are some mental health benefits that can be gleaned from, you know, some research has shown that GLP-1 agonists might help reduce symptoms of depression, which are closely tied to poor sleep quality. For example, people who took liraglutide reported not only improved blood sugar levels, but also better mental health, which positively affected their sleep. It's been proposed this feeling of well-being could actually be the cause of insomnia as the brain and mind has been suddenly turned on more than usual and some people report excessive energy at night, making it impossible to lay down and fall asleep, which is counterintuitive. It, it kind of can go either way. It's not all good all the time. We have to remember this. Like any medication, GLP-1 agonists can have side effects, some of which could directly affect sleep quality and in a negative way. Like, for instance, gastrointestinal issues. Common, common side effects like nausea, vomiting, constipation, and diarrhea can interfere with getting a good night's sleep. 
especially in the first few weeks of the medication. Fatigue, being over fatigued during the daytime. Some patients report feeling fatigue when starting GLP-1 agonists. And, and while this could interfere with daytime activities, it may also indirectly lead to better sleep or worse at night as the body adjusts. Everybody's different once again. And these side effects are generally mild and often improve after a few weeks of use, but it's something to keep in mind. And again, it's individual. So to summarize, GLP-1 agonists may improve sleep quality in several ways. By aiding in weight loss, which helps reduce conditions like sleep apnea, by potentially affecting brain areas that regulate sleep and mood, by reducing stress and improving overall metabolic health. GLP-1 medications also may decrease sleep quality by causing unwanted side effects, like we just went over, increasing energy at the wrong times and increased thoughts when the desire to slow everything down in order to sleep is what is actually wanted at the time and the side effects that can keep you up in the middle of the night. While more research is needed, the current findings suggest that these medications might help some people sleep better, particularly if they struggle with obesity or sleep apnea, depressions and feelings of anxiety and inflammation. However, like any medication, there may be some side effects that could initially disrupt sleep. In the end, there's no telling how GLP-1s will affect you personally in your sleep until you start the medications and get to your personal lowest effective dose. I hope this presentation helped you understand the potential links between GLP-1 agonists and your sleep quality. And like I always say at the end of these things, see you soon. Look, if you'd like some help getting your lifestyle modification in order and you want to get on a call with me, go ahead and get into the description down below and hit the link. I'll set up a call with Dr. G immediately. See you soon.